Dave, here's the real question. Which current NBA superstar? Hi guys, it's Morgan. Uh, it's Friday. This is kind of a work life slash daily vlog. Today, I, uh, this morning, I'm gonna go check a couple gopher traps. Going on. My total turn off is blocked from a hot air balloon truck. Uh, and then there's another hot air balloon in the sky. Like this is. Not standard Grants Pass. Look at that one. It's right there. Dang. I saw another. Oh, yeah, there it is. A little balloon there. I saw a flame shoot out of it. Okay. Okay. Well, apparently the balloon and kite festival has two balloons in it. So I'm not sure how many kites. Oh, here's one going up right here. I got stuck in a fucking hot air balloon festival, guys. This doesn't happen very often. Here we go, it's going up right there. See a big old balloon? Boom! This was worth the gopher trip right here. So there's more balloons going up. Apparently the trailers they use are for the carrying the balloons. All right, we're on the job site. I gotta grab my gopher hawk. Probe. I already saw the first two traps triggered, so that's not fun. I always try to um, knock down the mounds and put them next to the fresh ones so I know where to set. These actually don't look particularly fresh to me. This one is. These ones aren't. And this one, on the other hand, is triggered, so we may have had a catch on it. Maybe, maybe not, though. There's some fresh mounds. Usually, oh, there's weight on it. There's a nice pocket gopher. Not a bad one. Go for hawk. Go set some more. You can see these super fresh mounds. Those are the ones you want to set on. Look around. I think that's one. Oh yeah, definitely got it. We'll set two here, because I know this is a live gopher. Riverfront traps, one of them's triggered, and I don't see any mounds, and this was a mole. So hopefully we got him. Yep, there's a mole for you. He's actually still alive. I gotta put him down. Sorry, dude. Usually that's a clean, humane killing trap, but unfortunately it caught him by the, uh, the foot, which happens. Luckily, I just set these yesterday, so he didn't, his leg was broken, so had to kill him. So got that in a uh, pocket gopher. Good day for trapping. <laughs> Forgot I had one more over here. Oh. It set off, so I got real close to him, but I don't know. I think that hair was already in there from before. Gopher hop traps, um, they're very, very effective. 
Uh, I've been using them for this whole last year and uh, I've just been blown away by how much more convenient they are to set, how effective they are at catching. For the most part, they're pretty humane. I know this mole had some, it, you know, he was still kind of alive. I had to finish him off, but that does not happen often. Usually it's right on the head and they're dead. Um, they're kind of expensive, but man, they're a lot less invasive. On, uh, they do a lot less destruction to your yard when you're setting them because you just have that little circular hole instead of using a shovel. Um, they last pretty well. I broke one so far and I've got 10 different gopher hawks and I use them all the time. They're always in the ground, so that's not bad. And uh, yeah, I think if you got pocket gophers or moles, you need to get one. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it.